there is a lot of affection in Australia for the Queen and I guess Labor's judging that there won't be when she has gone. Matt Canavan, is this the right time to push for a republic? What do you think Australians want? Well, it's not a priority for Australians, that's for sure, uh, Shari. And I did think the timing was a little unusual, uh, especially the commentary around the appointment of Matt Thistlethwaite almost sort of saying, well, this is he's, he's sort of getting ready for uh, the Queen's passing. That's basically what they were saying. They were saying, while well, she's celebrating the Jubilee, <laughs> you know, by the way, she's not getting any younger and, and when, when ultimately, you know, there is a change, we're going to go hell for leather. They, they did say that. They effectively said, once Prince Charles becomes King Charles, then we're going to push for the Republic really hard. And I just think that it was a little insensitive to the Queen, uh, who, as Jenna has said, uh, has given remarkable service uh, to the Commonwealth of Nations, really to the world, ultimately. She's been a a beacon for the free mm. world uh, since the times of the dark days of World War II uh, and seen us all through that. So I, I think it's a, it's a little bit uh, unfortunate uh, and tawdry to be talking like this right now. I definitely don't think it's a priority for Australians and whatever the Labor Party's designs and dreams are coming into government mm. there, I think about to get the, uh, the punch of reality square in the face with inflation and energy. Mm, no, that's true. Yeah. Um, and, and, and look, the Queen has been an incredible figure of stability during wars and the COVID pandemic and, and uh, gives people a lot, a lot of confidence.